guys! Welcome to Cup of Teach and today, we are going to discuss Estimating the Roots of Non-Perfect Squares Let us try to get the square root of 45 So, ang first step natin, kailangan nating uh, malaman kung saan nakapagit na na perfect square si 45 So, si square root of 45 ay pinagigit naan ng dalawang perfect square na si 36 at saka si 49. So, what we're going to do is we have to get the square root of the 2. So, square root of 36 is 6 and square root of 49 is 7. So, now, we know that square root of 45 is between... Six and seven. Step two, dahil alam mo na na si square root of forty-five is between six and seven, so iisipin naman natin ngayon kung ano ang estimated na location or value ng square root of forty-five. So dapat ang value niya is between six and seven lang. So we can choose between six point one. Hanggang 6.9. Hindi siya po pwedeng umabot ng 7. Okay? So, mamimili lang tayo dyan sa mga decimals na yan. Mula 6.1 hanggang 6.9. Estimation lang. So, dahil mas malapit si um, 45 kay 49, which is, ang square root ng 49 is 7. So, mamimili tayo ng decimal na mas malapit kay 7. So, piliin na lang natin is 6.8 So, ito yung napili ko But it is up to you kung ano yung pipiliin yung um, decimal because this is just an estimation Step 3 Okay, so we chose 6.8 as an estimation So, ang gagawin natin we have to divide 45 by 6.8 8. Okay? So, you have to use the long division method para mag-divide. So, si 6.8 ang mapupunta sa labas and si 45 naman sa loob. Okay? And then, we have to divide. So, kapag mag-divide tayo ng uh, decimal sa isang whole number, kailangan yung ating divisor is a whole number. So, para maging whole number siya, this decimal right here, so yung decimal na to, ililipat mo sa, okay, sa dulo. So, yung decimal point dito, matatanggal, malilipat don sa side ng 8. So, we will now have a 68. So, dahil naglipat tayo ng decimal point sa divisor, ganun din yung gagawin natin sa dividend. Since, alam naman natin na ang decimal point ng isang whole number ay nasa dulo, you just have to move one place to the right. Kasi sa right din naman tayo nag-move. So, yung decimal point dito is mawawala. And then, mapupunta siya dun sa, okay, sa isang place um, away from 5. So, anong mangyayari dun sa space? Okay, so dahil meron tayong space dito, lalagyan natin siya ng 0. And then, let us divide. So, 450 divided by 68 is 6. So, we have to multiply 6 by 68. We will get 408 and then subtract. So, we will have 42. Okay. So, wala na tayong po pwedeng maibaba na digit. So, ano yung gagawin natin? So, after ng decimal point, mag a tayo ng 0 para meron tayong maibabang 0 dito. So, we will now have a 420. At dahil meron tayong decimal point here, maglalagay ka rin ng decimal point above. 
Okay? So, now, let us divide. 420 divided by 68, we will get another 6. So, 6 times 68, we have 408. So, subtract. We will have a 12. Again, add 0. Bring down 0. Then, divide by 68. So, we will have a 1 here. 1 times 68 is 68. Then, subtract. We will have a 52. And now, since our quotient already has two decimal places, Okay, let us stop there. And let us proceed to our um, fourth step. Remember na ang ating quotient here is 6.61. Okay? So, let's go to our fourth step. So, for our last step, we have to get the average of the um, estimation and the quotient. So, ang estimation natin na kinuha kanina is 6.8. And then, our quotient is 6.61. So, we just have to get the average. So, to get the average, we just have to add the 2, 6.8 plus 6.61, then divide it by 2. So, 6.8 plus 6.61, we will have 13.61. 41 and then divide it by 2 we will get 6.705 but the safest answer here is to get only the nearest um, hundreds so to get the nearest hundreds we have to round off okay so pag nag round off tayo tandaan you have to add 1 to your hundreds digit kapag ang katabi niya sa right is 5 pataas. Since ang katabi ng ating 0 dito sa hundreds place ay 5, therefore, we have to add 1 kay 0. Okay? So, mag a add 1 tayo. Our answer will be 6.71. Therefore, square root of 45 is approximately 6.71. This is now our um, estimated square root, 6.71. Let's have another example. So, for another example, let's have square root of 105 okay so 105 is not a perfect square so let us estimate so the first step again is to know where is 105 in between so what are the perfect square consecutive perfect square na nakapagit na sa kanya okay so 105 is between the perfect squares 100 and 121. So, if we get the square root of the 3, the square root of 100 is 10 and the square root of 121 is 11. Okay? Therefore, we can say that 105 or the square root of 105 is between 10 and 11. Okay? So, dito na muna tayo magpo-focus. Now, for the second step, we have to um, estimate the decimal of, or the value in decimals of 100, square root of. So, for step 2, you have to, so for step 2, we have to get the estimated value of square root of 105. Okay, so mag-estimate muna tayo. 
Since 105 is closer to 100, therefore, mas close yung ating decimal dapat kay 10. Okay? So, ang pagpipilian natin na decimals is from 10.1 hanggang 10.9. So, estimation naman to. So, magtatansya lang tayo. So, kahit na ano dyan, in between that ay um, tama. But we have to choose yung medyo malapit naman. So, let us try to choose, um, I'm going to choose 10.3. But you can choose other numbers, okay? So, we are going to use 10.3. That is for our step 2. Okay, so for step 3, we chose 10.3 as an estimation. So, ang gagawin natin, we have to divide 105 by 10.3. Okay, so pag ganito, maybe you can um, use the long division method or pwede rin kayong mag-calculator. Okay, so we have here 10.3 sa labas and then 105 naman sa loob. Again, you have to make um, your divisor a whole number. So, ililipat natin yung decimal. So, ililipat natin yung decimal on the right. Okay? So, mawawala yung decimal dito. And, mapupunta siya here. Okay? So, we will now have 103. And then, on the dividend then maglilipat din tayo ng decimal. So, we know that the decimal of the dividend is right after 5. So, maglilipat tayo to the right side. 1. Okay? So, yung decimal ay mawawala dito. Mapupunta dito. And then, for the space, you just have to add a 0. Now, we will have 103 here. And we will have 103 here. And then, 1050 here. Okay? So, let's divide. You can just use calculator or you can manually divide it. So, if we manually divide it, we will get, so, 1,050 divided by 103, we have a 10. A eight. So, we have a 10 here. Then, multiply 10 times 103, we will have 1,030. Subtract, we will get a 20 here. Then, add 0 and add a decimal above. So, after adding 0, mag a din tayo ng 0 sa baba. Bring down 0. Then, 200 divided by 103. So, 200 divided by 103, we will get a 1. And 1 times 103 is 103. Then, subtract. We will get here a 97. Okay? Then, add 0 again. Bring down 0. 970 divided by 103. Then, we have a 9. 9 times 103, we get a 927. Okay, then subtract 970 and 927, we will get a 400, ah, Sorry, we will get a 43. Now, we already have two decimal places here sa ating quotient. So, let us stop. Okay? And then, let's proceed to our step 4. Okay, so for the last step, okay, so for the last step, you have to get the average of the estimation and the quotient. So, for getting the average, again, you just have to add 10.3 and 10.19, then divide them by 2. So, let us add. 
10.3 plus 10.19 is 20.49 divided by 2. So we will have a 10.24 and 5. Now, we have a 3 decimal digits and as I said kanina, to be safe, we just have to get the, um, up to the, uh, we just have to get up to the hundreds place. So, para makuha natin yung um, pinaka okay na sagot, we just, we just have to round off to the nearest hundreds. So, dahil ang hundreds place natin ay 4, ang katabi naman ni 4 ay 5, okay? So, mag a one tayo kay 4. So, our final answer here will be 10.25. Okay? So, this means that square root of 105 is approximately 10.25. This is our final answer.